So how's this going to help us get out of our engagement? Well, today's the Family House Rules Parchessy Tournament. Right. So? So we'll take this opportunity to kick some zen butt. Zen butt? Okay, so I'm not totally serene quite yet. No, Ozzy, House Rules Parcheesi is absolutely nothing like Calvin Ball. Now, you have seven blorms. And you have to move your roll of duct tape around the giant ceramic hippo. Wait. Why am I trying to move my roll of duct tape toward the goal? Wouldn't it be much more serene of me to simply accept its current location instead of clinging to the idea of a goal? Did I win? Or am I being rewarded for not winning? I don't think they really know. We'll be fine if you just keep smiling and nodding. Ozymandias, Isolde, there's still the matter of your engagement. I have the papers here. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Aunt Tulip. Ah, uh, spoken like a true dragon. And you eat these chili peppers on cereal? Hey, Stefan. I came over to see if the whole Felicia situation is still tormenting you. Well, yeah, it is. But I've discovered a great distraction internet comic strips. Internet comic strips? While the big new paper syndicates are offering up the same old boring stuff. A revolution in cartoon humor is taking place in cyberspace. SNRK ha 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 ha. Look at this one. See, this guy works for a tech support helpline. And he's talking to a caller who get this doesn't know the difference between Linux and Unix. He he hey hey. It's so true. People who aren't computer geeks are such a bunch of idiots. You know, violence is the final refuge of the computer illiterate. Listen, his Parcheesi performance notwithstanding. Some of us still harbor extreme doubts about the creature you call your son. Now if everyone... Young Ozymandias is nothing but a small, ordinary fur-bearing mammal. Also the Pope has been trying to plant lettuce in my navel. You were saying? Nothing. Obviously it's nonsense. Why would a dragon have a navel? Well, it was great meeting you, Isolde. Hey, likewise. Come visit me sometime. It's cool meeting a mammal who doesn't think I'm a freak. Hey, how could you possibly be any weirder than my best friend back home? Well, for one thing, as we speak I'm conducting photosynthesis. That differentiates you from Millie only in that you succeeded it. Well, I'd call it an eminently successful reunion. Absolutely. But there's one thing I still have to ask you. You want to know which conspiracy I'm in charge of, yes? Um, yeah. Actually, I've taken on a sort of parental conspiracy. I'm in charge of seeing to your education even the accidental parts. I guess the difference between you and most parents is you admit it. Quite. Now, I'm going on a trip, and... Hey, Avery, the saying is true. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your relatives. Tim, would you like me to demonstrate what you can do to your relatives? Crawling into dad's bed is less comforting when he snores.